Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna continue the the Achilles Legends Untold. This will be basically, I guess, the last episode. Um, I was doing some tests. Uh, I I tested a couple of weapons. I wanted to do like a, a guide for two hand swords uh, do, or dual wielding, basically. But the thing was like because I wasn't able to level up all the weapons. I wanted to, I stopped doing it. The thing with dual wielding, I'm, I'm gonna explain it like simply in this episode. Uh, we're gonna explain it like later on. Let's just move on with the, the um, main quest. What build you see here is like the build which I already uh, made a guide on it. Uh, it's by far, I guess, one of the best. This, this build has like a potential of dealing around in between like 5k and let's say it can it you can like make it make even 15,000 damage you know but depends on how many enemies you have what enemy types you are fighting it's like a extremely efficient build i think it's one of the best builds you'll get in the game and uh, we're gonna test it we're gonna finish the game with this build basically um let's see what the quest says now we'll need to move on let's check these ones the game should be extremely easy now okay so we have here something let's kill this one Understand? You're dead. Dead. Okay, so basically he's seeing his uh let's see what the quest is now. Okay, we basically just need to visit. I guess this was one of his soldiers. Uh which apparently he is not realizing he's dead. Uh Okay, we have another one here. Uh, even if the build is kinda overpowered, you, you can still die. Um, I'm still on the hardest difficulty, deathless run. Come on, guys. Just let, me, let me finish this game. Um, let's see what he has to say. Some way to bring you back to life. If I did so, you can return too. Return? The Trojan War has just begun, Commander, and you want to return? There are many victories ahead of us. Yeah. So I guess they are stuck in the past or something. Because they are not realizing the war is over, the war just ended like 10, 10 years ago, basically. Uh, I'm extremely satisfied with this weapon. Just because... Uh, makes the game extremely, extremely easy. And again, I'm on the hardest difficulty, so you won't really f feel like, you know, you can, I don't know, I'm not feeling at least like I can get healed by something right now. Uh, that was like around, you saw just two spikes, yeah, 1.3, both of them. But the damage is way bigger than that. Because you have like around in between 8 and 12 spikes which are coming out. They are like spears which are coming out from the ground basically. So imagine the potential of the damage is extremely high. What a nonsense. Menelaus sentenced you to die 
die a long time ago. He was laughing while you were dying in agony. You're right. We'll die in agony if we remain on this beach a minute longer. Our hearts yearn for battle, Commander. Send us to the walls. Okay, we have two more ghosts to speak with, I guess. The reach of this weapon is insane. I definitely recommend you guys if if you want to have fun in the game, like and uh, kill everything like extremely easy. As soon as you get the you know, you're gonna get a quest from Firtos. Uh, Firtos is the blacksmith apprentice. He will send you to defeat the uh, Scorpion King. You're gonna get a reward. Uh, this skill will be like... Uh, you know, as soon as you defeat the, the Scorpion King, you're gonna get this. And if you mix it with a spear, it's... It's just hilarious, you know. You're gonna kill everything on the map just like extremely easy i recommend you to upgrade this at least one of your main weapons you know pick a weapon which is scaling with strength either with precision because you have some build options there i uh, talk about it like in the guides i made mm, you will you will definitely feel like the game is easy even on So basically he knows I died, but in the same time, he's not recognizing me as his commander. I don't know what the, what the story wants to say with this. this was okay now we need to go back listen to the last soul i'm not gonna i'm not gonna teleport basically because i don't want to respawn all the enemies on the map i prefer just to run there is like just the easiest option i guess okay Stand at ease. What the? I thought we were similar, but I was wrong all along. Even beneath these pieces of metal pulled together, your weaknesses can be seen at a glance. You're weak, Achilles, and someone like you dares to challenge me. Okay, so now they are attacking me. I don't want to fight. I won. You're just an illusion. You're not here. Teeth? 
Some sacrifices cannot be avoided. I was hoping that a former soldier would understand that. You don't understand the nature of humans at all. You've greeted countless souls in your kingdom. No wonder you don't feel attached to any of them. I knew each of my men. I fought and bled by their side. Did you say the same thing to Hephaestus when you threw Firtus into your kingdom? My nephew has always been stubborn. He wouldn't forge the armor and wear it on his own. I had to properly deliver him. Spare me the explanations. Why won't you just challenge Phobos to a duel yourself? Phobos would have never graced me when he attracted his attention by killing his minions and escaping his traps time and time again. What Hades did, it was like just... I don't know if you follow up with the story... I think it's like... Uh, Hephaestus... Or Hepatitis, the blacksmith, how I like to call him. It's like... Um, he was like... Getting his uh, apprentice... Um, you know, like hostage by Hades just for him to craft us our you know gear and help us during the a long mission basically but I find it a bit awkward and extremely daft because anyway Firtos we saved that guy like plenty of times you know what I mean I don't know why the blacksmith wasn't trusting us. It's a bit daft. But I guess that's the appro approach that developers wanted to take on it. I don't know. It will be interesting though. Uh, to fight Hades after we fight this boss. Even though Hades is a... In a way he's a good guy. But he's doing all this just because his world is in trouble, so... Uh, from a, a god point of view, I can understand he's just using us, basically. I don't know if he really gives a shit about, it, uh, about us, like... Even if he saved us, he saved us just because he knew we are like his only option to defeat Phobos. So, in a way, it's a selfish reason, but... Uh, this area, which will go now, this will be like... Kind of the hardest area of the game. I was farming in this area materials. Because what you're gonna see... If, for example, you need materials to... F you, you see this pure essence of darkness, yeah? So if you defeat skeletons, if you defeat raids, you're gonna get pure essence of darkness. Um, to upgrade all the weapons you won't have because I spent around fucking 50k more than 50,000 drachmas yeah so while I was doing the guides on weapons and all these things I was coming here or uh, in the beginning I was just going to the crumbling houses you can uh, farm all these but you're gonna get like not a lot of essence of darkness as soon as you come here you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of skeletons, a lot of cultists. As soon as you defeat them, you're gonna get like... Uh, let me show you. You just go into your bag, basically. And you're gonna see these ones, for example, I'm not using that. I'm just sacrificing them. They are not having a big value, but if you go for... Pure essence of fire, for example, or, or pure essence of darkness. As soon as you sell them, you're gonna get 250. See, uh, price on one of it is 50. So you can bump your gold extremely fast like that. And uh, it's that pure essence of darkness is, is dropping even on skeletons. You know what I mean? So you're gonna fight loads of them and just get, see again, pure essence of darkness. 
You're gonna get health potions. You can sell everything. If you think you want to craft something, but I'm telling you, you won't need to craft. It's... I, I didn't felt like I want to craft, you know. Uh, this is not a hard game. I keep reminding you that because you can give it a try on the hardest difficulty. If you run the hardest difficulty, just run the big gulp and you're gonna be fine. It's like by far the easiest way to to beat the game on the hardest difficulty. Just keep in mind, I'm doing a deathless run. Now I'm cursed and I still don't give a shit. I'm thinking to reset all this because I don't like the curse, but I can remove the curse before the... The, the thing is I'm not managing uh, energy right now and that's my main issue. Because if you manage energy properly, you won't have these brain farts in the middle of the fights, like how I, <laughs> I'm having them, you know, because you'll see my guy like just suddenly stopping attacking just because my energy is extremely low. Uh, they are the raids, you're gonna get ambushed here by loads of them. You can deny damage by doing this, you can mix it with that. Let's use a potion just to make sure we won't die. I thought I, I can jump over that, but unfortunately I wasn't, so... That's the thing with, with this, like I said in the in the guide, they need to be stationary and that's the only only big flaw of this of this build. Uh, why I'm uh, using this, because you can knock them down and after that as soon as you go through you're gonna kill them like easy. You can jump them I guess is the easiest way to kill them. Because if you use a leap attack you're gonna kill them. Right now I'm not removing curse because I know I'll be cursed like often in this one. I think we need to move to... Oh, okay. Yeah, we need to move to the center of the map where that portal was. We explored this before in one of the videos. Just to see the end game content. I was hoping we can fight. What's the deal with... Why he's not coming back? Uh, be aware because some of them they have a stomp and that stomp can really do loads of damage and uh, if you are like jumped by loads of them like six of them you can die pretty easy there I don't even know if I want to remove the curse what's this? Oh, we just found a rift. I want to seal this now. I really don't know what's that. Why we can't go inside? Maybe we need to kill them. Was like one shot and by the thorns I still don't understand this I really want to go inside this Sense now, so right now we can get inside of them. Oh, they look different. Something is coming. Hmm. 
they are like <laughs> they are no challenge anymore you know <laughs> just because you can like just spin with the lion build you're gonna recover a lot of hp you're gonna recover a lot of wrath as well i'm not even using thorns so often I see thorns more, more like an escape button, and that's why I have the that shock, that ground stomp. I don't like when they are doing this. It's annoying because you are getting knocked down pretty often in this game. I need to manage my stamina better. I have like two stone guardians here. We one shot it there. Oh, we fight Hector again. Hector was like uh, Paris' brother. We f he's the, the first boss in the tutorial. Oh, and we are fighting Paris as well. So yeah, let's use Storms on, on, on uh, Paris. Even though Hector was like getting damaged a lot there. So actually we can take our revenge on this motherfucker. I have to get out of here. Yeah, so actually we were like face tanking them. Not a big deal. It's interesting because they they are placing bosses inside. I'm curious if we'll fight. Uh, we fought already the Scorpion King in one of that rifts. We are still getting loads of pure of pure, pure uh, essence of darkness. are still <laughs> skeletons I can still stun locking like which is a bit hilarious let's see what we have in this one okay. they can jump Let's recover some energy. I wasn't expecting him to hit me there. And I was getting hit again. Which was a bit awkward. Okay, now I'm poisoned. Now I need to play a bit careful because he will like knock me down. Yeah, then when you get tired of them, you know, just to just kill him. They'll be like suddenly vanishing into thin air. Oh, we fight Chimera again. Let's uh, let's see how much damage we can do. I want her to be stationary.
I know he can, she can be like pretty, pretty annoying because she can stun a lot. It's one of the best bosses in the game, the Chimera, because she can like just leap at you. And her leap are like properly uh, telegraphing like, for example, even if you dodge sometime, you know, she's gonna jump you like properly. Not not this one, but the main Chimera which you're gonna fight, it's more little than this one to be fair, because she was doing like loads of damage. Okay, so we have one more. Yeah, we'll see just 1.3 because not all the hits are registering, you know, it's... It's awkward because that guy won't die in 1.3k damage, I don't think so. Yeah, let's heal the last one. I, I was dodging there, but apparently the game didn't really register it as a dodge. I was hoping she would. I don't mind po uh, curse now, I don't mind poison as well, because poison is like not really doing a lot of damage. I hate when they can <laughs> the, the, the guys with the shield they can block your attacks and I hate when that's happening. Oh this guy was funny. Uh, unfortunately he wasn't really a challenge, the Minotaur. I don't think he'll be now a challenge. This rock fall, they, they could like make it way better, you know. If this guy was having some leaps on you, you know, I was just using the skill. I killed him just with the skill, using it three times. It's... The thing is like my my guides are going around these skills only. What I choose to do, because I'm going to explain you now, you know, you're going to have, you can have more skills than this, yeah? But because I was going like ruthless, I killed everyone, you know, each encounter with a boss, uh, I, I killed everyone, you know? Uh, I think it's an achievement, so basically that's why I went for that achievement, you know, in particular. But the thing is like, if you, you will spare some of the bosses, you will get skills. And that skills in mix with weapons, they can be even more efficient than this weapon. Uh, so the guides I made are just for a ruthless, basically, run, you know, where you kill every single motherfucker you encounter. Because you won't have, like, as many skills as you're gonna spare them. You know what I mean? So that's why this looks like this.
Okay. Uh, let's go just... I'm not gonna even remove the curse. Fuck it. It is what it is. I don't think he can kill me. Short life is coming to an end now. You threatened me with death under my own roof. Soon you'll know a fate worse than death. I can promise you that. Yeah, so apparently he was telling us we were like ruthless just in our way just to kill him basically. And he was right because we were like killing everyone. Uh, this motherfucker is a uh, uh, master fear guy, yeah, so he was trying to, he was trying to, even the thing with the Myrmidons earlier when we fought the Spectres, I think it was his doing, you know, because he wanted to, I uh, guess that, that was his biggest fear for he, uh, Achilles to kill his own soldiers, I guess, and that's why he's like, but he's slow as fuck from what I see. He has a nice leap here. So... Uh, yeah, if uh, you saw the gameplay, I know, like, you know guys already. In the beginning I'm just kiting him just to see what he can do. Because basically, he, even if he's... Uh, he has like a snake body or let's say serpent body, he's like still slow as fuck. I'm gonna try to kite one of his attacks. Just to use the thorns on him. Okay, so he can tank a bit. And he has the masks as well. like funny lines, dialogue lines. Okay, so he's spawning it. Ah, okay, so basically he helps us with managing fury as well. Because I was really thinking like I need to use a potion maybe. But no, I really don't think so. I... Come on guys, come on, take a break. Again, summon that lights. I guess that lights will explode, yeah. They'll do some damage. Help 
Ja, dann. Someone some masks there. to dodge that because I wasn't really dodging. Okay, now I expect him to be a bit more across. I'm just waiting him to do something because I want to see if they like really at least this last fight, if they really fought on it. No, they didn't. Yeah, so let's end this. Supposedly, hope springs eternal when it seemed that Phobos would prevail and forever enshroud Greece in a veil of fear. Against him stood he, the bravest of Myrmidons, Achilles. He made peace with the past and accepted his weaknesses. After all, he was only human. With cold iron in hand and the flame of courage in his heart, he descended into Phobos' lair and defeated him. But was it for good? Agamemnon was right about one thing. Fear is eternal. It will always find a way to crawl into our hearts and poison them with doubt. Make our goals unattainable and our fights doomed to fail. Achilles managed to tame his weaknesses. Despite doubt, he found the strength to act. He was supported by his new friends at each stage of his journey. The trust and help of his companions tipped the scales. Greece was saved, and the wounds covering it will heal over time. There was only one matter left. The world of the living was no longer a place for Achilles. Hades, the Lord of the Dead, will come back for him once he repairs the damage done to his kingdom. Achilles accepted his destiny. However, his legend will inspire future generations. Thank you for playing. Greece has been saved and the memory of your brave deeds will live forever. Keep exploring the world and visit Hate Shrine for and forge the legend anew. To start a new game plus, visit the Shrine of Hades. Continue the current game, yeah, I don't want to start it over now. Oh, Mr. Hades. Well, you saw what what the cutscene says, well, like, as soon as this motherfucker will uh, recover his kingdom, he will come for us. So as I said earlier, you know, he is not a friend of ours, he is just, you know, after his own interests, you know, he, with Phobos in the picture, basically, he couldn't really do his magic in his world, so I guess that's why we played the part on his fucking game, and that's why he revived us, so it's not because of our glorious deeds and all that things, you know, he, he, <laughs> he was just needing to save his own kingdom, basically.
what will happen to me now. Okay, so I guess this was it. As soon as you come out from a portal, all the enemies will respawn, I guess. Yeah. I just love this weapon, I swear to God, it's like one of the best weapons in the game. I don't know if it's the best weapon in the game. Because in the beginning I start doing the guides on best weapon in the game, you know. But after that I realize, bro, are like loads of them. And uh, depends on how you play them. You're gonna get like tons of damage with them, you know what I mean? So that's why I renamed all the things, I s <laughs> all the all the guides in best weapons in the game. Because you're gonna encounter like by far divine justice and crystal spear. I definitely recommend you guys to give it a try because they are the easiest weapons to at least the spear, you know, the crystal spear. As soon as you get into this map, you're gonna be able to get it like because you're gonna get I think I said this in one of the guides as well. You get through the cave here in this new map. You just walk to the shrine, after that just go here, get the crystal spear and you can respect yourself into a full strength build. In the same time you can keep your vitality up, you know, a lot. Because on that build I was having around 50 vitality, you know. My plan was to play this as a full tank. But I realized the armor is like giving you a lot of uh, damage resistance so you won't really need it like you know what i mean it's it's totally i don't know it's your option to to do whatever you want like but i'm on the hardest difficulty on a deathless run i killed phobos without using uh, a potion yeah so if I manage to do that, you guys can do it as well, you know what I mean? The game is not hard, the game is not having crazy combat mechanics. Uh, from my point of view, it's one of the easiest, let's say, Souls-like souls -like game I ever played, you know? And that's why I'm I'm not trying to compare this with a Soul-like game, you know? Because it's this has nothing to do with a Soul-like game, you know? The combat is like repetitive as fuck I'm and I'm gonna say this because it's extremely re repetitive all we are doing basically all we did in the let's say first two hours of gameplay we are using the same combat mechanics again and again I switch in between all the all the weapons i switched in between i don't know i i try to to understand what's what's the deal with this game it's not really a, a deal with this game the, this game is extremely easy it's like i don't know combat it's it's extremely boring after a while from my point of view at least because the combat is getting extremely boring, you know. Uh, you're gonna do the same things over and over again, you know. Uh, running lights, running heavies, you know, and that's that's your gameplay, you know. If you want, I can I can make a guide with some tips. One of the tips will be like I don't know if I want to make a guide. I'm gonna talk about my point of view about this game in this one i think it will make it like way easier um, the only thing which you need to be careful if for example you want more skills as i talked previously consider sparing some of the the good guys you know because not all of them are bad 
You know what I mean? So I was killing the guy on the bridge in the first map. That guy, he didn't really deserve to die, you know? Pollux again, the guy which we are finding here in Mar Marina. This guy is like an idiot, he wants to die, you know what I mean? But I don't know if if it's the best option to kill him, because he can... He just wants to die because uh, he failed his commander and his brother, or brothers. I don't know exactly what he means by brothers, if he means comrades, you know, the, the guys which he was fighting with along. Uh, but if he, he really didn't deserve to die like and maybe that will change the game ending in a way because I saw Phobos was mentioning something like oh you killed everyone in your path just get to me you you orphaned so many kids and all that things you know what I mean uh, I think we we got the like the worst ending if they are if they are like at least two endings i think we got the, the worst one you saw the damage wasn't even registering on these motherfuckers they, they, <laughs> they just died you know because thorns is doing so much damage you know what i mean uh, but yeah let's go and see the blacksmith what is that i still don't know what the fuck is wrong with these cats guys I swear to God, I was hoping a fucking achievement will pop up at one point. And by the way, a lot of a lot of achievements popped up when we finished the game. So, in a way, I want to start a new game plus, but I still have this thing over here, and. Um, on that thing over there is like blood essence, pure blood essence, pure blood essence, yeah, I think so. And when you open your inventory, you're gonna find, I, I have them here, look, you already have like, these ones you can, you can sacrifice them, see? And this is how you make money, like, you're just fighting skeletons and all that cultist mobs and all that raids and you're gonna get that and we are already bumping out uh, pure essence of poison the same sort of story with this you can just sell them pure essence of, of fire i don't think you're gonna need them as well so if you want to make money just open your inventory and sell most of these things some of them will have more value some of them won't but i was trying to keep them around like 50 uh, and let's go to see the pure essence of blood. You see this? We need this, and it's saying like ingredients harvested from unique predators. Predators. I don't know which one are these ones. I really don't know. I was thinking maybe it will be the lions. Maybe it will be the you know the big big mobs which you are like fighting. Oh, we have a chest there, actually. How I missed that, guys. <laughs> that's a... That's a new one. I wasn't expecting to... I know I missed the masks. Because I saw plenty of masks around the... I tried to destroy most of them, the ones which you are seeing. But some of them can be hidden under walls and all that shit. And I'm not in the mood of doing that. And just because the game was getting so repetitive, I really didn't want to do that. If if the game was like more interesting combat-wise, maybe I was really trying to large shit and 40 gold. Uh, maybe I was really trying to to find them and all that things, but uh, I didn't. The game for me was getting extremely boring. That's that's the main issue with this game. After a while, it's getting repetitive and you are doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Uh, as soon as I'm getting to... Let me go to the teleporter, teleport up there. I'm curious if they are dropping predator blood. But I don't think so, because they are not even the fierce 
says the enemies to fight. If you think lions have a better chance, or maybe gr griffons. Yeah, so let's teleport and see what they have to say. And after that, I'm gonna try to explain you my uh, my thoughts on dual wielding, which dual wielding is by far a very interesting way to play it, you know. Oh, Firtos is back. Firtos? You're back! How do you know my name? You're from the army, right? Damn it! I knew that one day you'd come for me. You don't recognize me? It's me, Achilles. I saved you from that scorpion. Well, actually, two of them. What in the name of the gods? I I'm sorry, I, I don't know you. I surely remember the armor you're wearing, and it's the first time I'm seeing you. Okay, so I guess Hades erased his memory. <laughs> I knew it! I knew you'd give that creep hell! It's good to see you safe and sound, Achilles. I'm glad things in Greece are finally getting back to normal. Speaking of normal... I see that you came to like your divine appearance. Why not? The world has gone mad, so I allowed myself a bit of madness, too. <laughs> Besides, now I look kind of more alive, don't you think? I decided to stay with you a little longer. Curtis is still learning, and I couldn't leave him alone with all this mess after Popos. I expected the lot would lose his memory doesn't remember me at all. Hades mentioned that staying in the underworld affects everyone a bit differently. On the other hand, the lad has been through a lot. I think he'll be better off that way. <sighs> There's a lot of work ahead of me, but I will always find time for an old friend. If you need my help, you can count on me. And you don't have to go as far as blackmail at all. Thanks for everything. I wouldn't have defeated Phobos without your help. Ah, nonsense. I'm sure you'd go fight him even with your bare fists if you had no other choice. Have a safe journey, Achilles. Maybe you know me better than I know myself. Take care. Yeah, so basically he now he's like a... He become our friend, I guess. I knew you could make it. Without your help, Pythia, I would be wandering around in the dark. I only pointed you to the door, but you went through it yourself. You deserve thanks from all of us. So, this is the end. The end of the sick ambitions of Phobos, that's for sure. There's still a lot of toil and worry ahead for the citizens of Greece before peace can reign here. What are you planning to do now? People still need support. The roads are full of wild beasts and bandits, and Phobos' servants are pointlessly wandering like restless apparitions. I'll restore the temple to its old glory, and later, I'll probably keep on helping others understand the world around them. I won't forget what you did for this realm, Achilles. I'll ensure that your legend endures. May luck never leave you. And you too, Pythia. Wherever you go. Okay, so apparently the wounds Phobos inflicted on Greece will ultimately heal, and the world will sigh in relief. What you did for this realm will never be forgotten. What can an ordinary, humble blacksmith like me do for such a distinguished hero? <laughs> Just kidding. What do you need? Old friend. He's not He's not a humble blacksmith. He's like one of the best blacksmiths you'll ever f met. Like he's like he's uh, Hades' nephew, so he's like a badass motherfucker too. You know what's missing on your breastplate? A scorpion symbol. Somewhere it would be fitting, don't you think? <laughs> he's talking about this guy lost his you know memory. What's missing on your breastplate? A scorpion symbol. Somewhere it would be fitting. This guy really loves scorpions, like 
not like he's not really loving them but he's like he likes scorpions like symbols and all that things yeah let's start the new game plus just to see how the game looks and i want to see let's go new game plus starting new game plus we return our to the beginning of the story keeping all skills and equipment do you to continue this can't be undone uh let me see because i think we finished everything on this we clearly finished this let's teleport a bit into greece i want to see if in greece we have like the the fucking rifts now appearing you know because i don't know what's the deal with this now ah, the rifts are still not appearing on the map let's try to see if we teleport to this area I forgot about this rift bro I forgot about that rift and the chest <laughs> let's go and do that teleport there let me do that before clearing before basically resetting it oh my fucking god this is just extremely but this was like one shotting everything even before so i don't know why i'm acting like i'm surprised <laughs> he didn't even land it bro i picked him from uh, from me there like Yeah, so actually I was like missing one One of that rifts I I, I knew I forgot something and I don't know how I managed to forget about that one Fear is eternal, Fear is eternal. Bro, your master is not here anymore. The dogs are still better. The wolves like. Bloodthirsty piercing spear, I guess that one is like a bleeding spear. Fighting rifts. It's easy now. <laughs> I guess if you try to fight the rifts when they appear on the map, I guess it's like the only way you can really get killed. I think I still missed some some rifts. And we got a new skill point. We've been in that one, yeah. Yeah, I remember when we passed this first time. It was a bit more difficult. We have seven points to spend. was a bit more difficult like not extremely difficult because we were using dual wielding and we were like smashing through them new game plus yes or well, actually let's teleport again to greece let's see if the rifts are showing now 
I'm still extremely curious how many fucking rifts I missed. Because for sure I missed loads of them. Let's go new game plus. Start a new game. Okay, so... back to I was hoping we we're gonna get a chance to fight parties but how many skill points we have seven oh my fucking god and now you can like play with this weapon like even further on you know what I mean it's like just precision will be like the best one I guess to invest into but yeah, from now, from this point on, it doesn't really matter what weapon you're gonna choose. You're gonna one-shot everyone on the map. Um, I'm gonna make a guide on dual wielding. But uh, for the time being, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Um, thanks for having patience. And thanks again for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.